What's up, everybody? How's it going? Is anybody on yet? Let's take a look. I don't see anybody yet. But we always have some latecomers. Hopefully we'll get a bunch in here tonight. Well, let's see. Cam is always the opposite of me. Hey, Ken, how you doing? We missed you last night. We had a few, uh, a couple of new people on last night, too. We had um, Velvet showed up late, but a um, friend of hers did. Um, Lisa. Tracy, how's it going? Mr. Eeyore himself. How's it going, bud? It's been a long time since we chatted. Ken Tracy Nolan there. That fellow there, I've known him for probably 20 years online. We used to play Quake together a long, long time ago. I can't get on. Bring it so. here and I'll, I'll hit it on for you. <clears throat> The missus is coming on here, too. I'm just trying to get her set up, so bear with me a second. She hasn't got on here yet much. Let's see. Uh, let me see here. Are you right. on live chat? Hmm. Hit live right there. You should be live. Oh, you're not getting an internet connection. That's the problem for some reason. <laughs> says I'm connected. No, it's not. It says you're not connected there. We try. We try. There we go. Now you're on. Uh-huh. And it'll go right back right off. There. See? It's on. See, see the typing. Yeah, uh oh No, I haven't seen any trolls. No connection. Ken, in a couple of times. Bring me the phone and I'll just turn that off and I'll give it I the phone. I already did, so never mind. Well, Tracy, you want to say hi? Hold on, guys. Right back. Dior wants to say hi. Well, I can't get in. I don't want the phone. I turned it off. It's not off. Oh, I don't want the phone. Hey, Ken, how are you doing? Yeah. I missed you last night. Ken, first time I said hi to you. Well, now you picked up to uh, I think she's on now. Um, <laughs> Jennifer should be coming on. She just left here a little while ago. Don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up, guys. Of course, you have to actually click the live chat thing and then do it again. Then do it. Then go back to the live. Oh, here's the boss. Better hide, Tracy. Are oh, you went to bed early last night, Ken? Well, we had some on last night. Um, like I said. I was expecting uh, Tracy to show up last for the last several nights, actually. I guess he finally figured it out. About time. Oh, you were? You're still hurting from that fall, huh, Ken? Oh, you bum. Tracy, you're just a bum. Falling asleep. Can you call that an excuse? Wow. You used to be up for all night long with me. 
long time ago. Are you still working security down there, Tracy, or what are you doing down there now? How old are you now, Tracy? I know I'm I know I'm older than you are. Were you did you hit fifty yet, Tracy? I have I figured you're still working as a guard. An old man as a guard. Oh my God. They must be desperate. <laughs> 53? I'm, I'll be 65 in May, and I still look better than you. <laughs> That's pretty sad. <laughs> Don't pay us no mind, Ken. We've been picking on each other for over 20 years, I think. Yeah, I am old, no doubt about it. Yeah, Ken's one of my regulars here. He's here all the time, pretty much every day, usually. Ken, Doc, Recon. Many, a lot. Many will probably be showing up. She gets on a little bit later, usually. There'll be a 58C Brock. She'll be coming. Hopefully, she'll be coming back tonight, I hope. Yeah, Ken and my birthday is the same day. May 31st. Be right back. Who are you talking to? He's 53. I know that. I was just fixing to I was just gonna text Jennifer to let her know that Tracy finally made it. Now maybe her friend Velvet and Lisa will be coming on too. We'll see. It'd be nice to get a, a full crew on. Tracy probably had to slap himself around just to wake up. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did say you were going to make some more cookies, didn't you? Good thing Tracy ain't nearby. He'd probably eat them all. Hey, Recon, how you doing, buddy? I was wondering if he's going to show up or not.
Mexican's a little bit spicy for me nowadays. I muted my, I was trying to talk and I muted my mic when I walked out of the room for a second and forgot to unmute it. As you can tell, it sounds different tonight because I had to send that new mic back because it wasn't functioning all the way. There's a mute button on it, it wasn't working. The volume control just kept spinning around and around and around. So I had to send it back and get another one. That's probably true, Tracy, it's because I'm old. Oh, I've just been working on, uh, I was getting ready to do a video earlier today and uh, ended up spending a lot of extra time setting up for the video and then trying to pick what I wanted to paint. Sometimes it takes quite a while. I kind of don't, I don't like to paint the same things all over again. So I had to, takes a little bit of time for me to figure out what I want to do. And I'm trying to do a variety, so, um, of different styles. Yes, Trace is a, a newcomer here, but he's a, a old, old friend of mine. Uh, him and I used to play Quake 2 20 years ago together, and he's a friend of, my wife's too, and Jennifer's. He's not bad for an old fart. <laughs> Actually, it's good to see him. We used to chat all the time, pretty much every night, basically. Yeah, and Nancy's too, yeah. My younger daughter's friend, friend too. Tracy, you must know a lot of people down there. Give them my uh, information for YouTube and get some of your friends to jump on here with us. I don't know if that would if they would sell or not, uh, Ken. To be honest with you, I've been watching that particular video because I really thought being something to do with cameras, I'd get a lot of views on it. But I think I've only got like seven views on it. So if I'm only getting seven views on it, then that means it's not that popular. In fact, one of the reasons I did it was I was thinking it might get a lot of views and a lot of view time. <laughs> I've seen his picture. He looks like a troll. So, <laughs> see there, Tracy, you're a troll now. <laughs> well, I know, Jennifer, I made the mistake of saying he had friends, but I was trying to be nice because I hadn't talked to him in quite a while. He does have that troll look, though. We all know that.
Well, we just call you the new brand of troll, the tall troll. Yes, he does. I appreciate you coming tonight, Tracy. I really do. Hopefully, you'll be here a lot more. Um, kind of miss chatting with you. It's been a long time. In fact, I need to give you a moderator, but I'm not sure I can do it in here. Let me see. I doubt it. I have to go to uh, YouTube and do it most likely. Oh yeah, Tracy's admin admin for me before a long time ago, and yeah, he's uh he wouldn't have much mercy on them trolls at all. Let me see if I can get in here and make him an admin or a moderator. Uh, let's see. the first time I've done that through here let me see if I can figure it out excuse me Well, YouTube's nuts, I tell you. Nope, I don't know how to do it through here. I have to figure it out. Yeah. The devil, all right. No, I haven't seen Doc yet. I was, I was going to ask you if you'd see him tonight in uh, any of the other chats you go to Recon. Devil Eeyore. Hey, there's Lisa. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, Lisa. 
You were. Where were you, Tracy? Ocala? Where were you, Tracy? He's not only old, but he's deaf. I've already asked him twice. Mm. Excuse me. Ocala. That's what I asked you. If it was Ocala. If you'd have gave me your phone number. I would have gave you my phone number, and you could have called me. You could have come up just a little bit further, not much further, and you could have met up and go come over and had coffee or whatever. It's not that far. Well, you know, half hour, 45 minutes. Well, how would you know you're old and blind and deaf? You, I don't know if you even have my email anymore. There's my email, Tracy. Write it down. And send me your phone number. Then I can get your e email, and I'll send you back mine for the next time. She's probably... Take him out of the oven or something. In fact, I asked Jennifer if you were coming on tonight, Lisa, so she didn't know. I said Ocala after you said you were up this way. You didn't say Ocala. Oh, fart. You said I was kind of up near you about a month ago. There's no Ocala in that part. That's what you put right there. Now, where does it say Ocala? Oh, fart. Never mind, blind. <laughs> okay. Well, tell Tim he can wait for a damn cookie.
Gonna fly down on you, Lisa. Gonna get some wings. It's the last time I talked to you, Tracy. You were selling your house. Did you ever sell it? I could be wrong, but I thought you were going to look for another one or something. Sold it. Well, that's good. Did you buy another one or do something else? Well, how are you going to have Tim um, look at your car from way up there? Really? You bought a house right across the street from your old house? Something sounds wrong about that. That's a long drive in a car you know nothing about, Lisa. So, Tracy, where were you when the Capitol was attacked? <laughs> oh, I see. Your mom lives across the street. And here she thought she was going to get rid of you, too. The poor woman. <laughs> she can't cut her break, can she? Well, if you're just getting your permit and then your driver's license, you ain't going to have enough experience to make a drive that far, Lisa. You better take a bus. It'll be safer for everyone. You think you'd do that too, Recon? I know you might. I suppose you that's possible. Did you work today, Ken? Oh, you're not working. That's right. I forgot. Sorry. You're probably in too much pain to work anyway after that fall. Well, I'm glad you're feeling a little better anyway. That's what I just said, Jennifer. Tell her to take a bus or a fly. I just said a bus because it's probably cheaper.
but you still have to drive it. That's the whole point. You ain't had enough experience driving to take a trip like that. <clears throat> I figured, Tracy, I I mean, all joking aside, I figured you were you were there to help your mother. I had no doubt about that. That may not be the way she looks at it, but I'm sure that's how you look at it. She probably says, oh, God, can't get rid of that boy for nothing. <laughs> well, that's good news, Ken. If you're feeling 85%, that's, that's definitely a lot, a lot better probably than you were. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. I need all the help I can get. Although we're doing, we're making a little bit of progress. I checked today, and I've got two thousand six hundred and eight view hours. I need four thousand, so I'll do the math. Less than fourteen hundred more. It's going to take a lot of live chats with a lot of people to get that many hours. You have to um, click the live chat, I think it is, and then you can see it. I'll tell you in just a second. Click the X where it says live chat. I'll tell you just a second. Then click the thumbs up. Click the X where it says live chat. Then click the thumbs up. And then click the live chat again and you'll be back in the chat. Simple. Even I can figure it out. Hey, Pamela. Wow. Glad to see you, Pamela. I was kind of wondering where you've been. I hadn't seen you in a while. I was hoping you'd come back. Pamela, I'm not sure if you know anybody here or not. Re uh, Recon, you know. Ken, you know. Jennifer is my daughter. Um, Francis is my wife. Tracy Nolan there is an old, old friend of mine. Um, Lisa Bosher is a friend. My daughter's one of my daughter's close friends. Um, let's see who else. You know Ken already. Let's see. I think that's everybody. And I'm expecting Minnie will probably show up here. She's been showing up a little bit later than everybody else by the time she gets home and cooks dinner. So Minnie should be popping in sometime soon. Yeah, we've been, uh, Jennifer's been helping me a lot, getting some of her friends and friends of the family in here and stuff, and um, threatened to go down and, and beat up Tracy for me if he didn't get on and stuff like that. You know, she's my hitman. <laughs> That's the whole idea, to get as many people on at, at night as possible for as long as possible to get the hours. So we got less than 1,400 hours to go. So 
if we can get, you know, if I can get up to like what Brad used to have, 20, 30 people a night, then we'll be able to make it. So it all helps. The more we get on, the more it helps. Hopefully, 58C Brock will be coming back too. Um, I didn't actually send her a, a message today. Hopefully, she got it. And see if everything's okay because she's been on for, gosh, quite a while, week and a half, I think. Matt pops in now and then. He's taking care of his mother. Well, we're just having pretty much a general chat. I mean, if, if anybody has any questions about painting, I'm here to answer them. Um, last night, we were actually showing different paintings and different style paintings. So I can do that right here. In fact, I, I can show you a little bit of a sample of what we were doing last night. Because the guys were curious about um, different styles of painting. So I'll show you. This particular thing is not actually YouTube. It, we, it goes through YouTube, but this is called Yardstream, which gives me a lot of benefits. A lot of options. So if we're talking about painting something, I can pull it up and um, I can share my other screen with this one to show the painting. So this is this is an example of, of an apple. The guys, most of these guys saw it last night. Some of them did anyway. So here's an example of an apple, still life. Um, and see, as you can see, I can pull it up at will for people that want to learn how to paint and show an example of something. I painted this one um, a year or two ago. And this is more, tr this is traditional painting here, not wet on wet. And uh, like I said, I think I spent probably four or five days on this painting at least. And um, if you've been to my website, you probably saw it there. So the advantage of this program is I can actually, you can still see me or you can see, or you can see the apple too. And I can actually pull in other pictures too. And then when I get done with that one, I can actually just remove it. And I can pull up another picture. And so here's another traditional painting. And we want to go full screen. I can pop it up full screen so everybody can see it. And then we can discuss the different techniques used. So you can see this is not like wet on wet. This traditional painting here was done. The block in, which is the basic colors in the background and stuff like that, was all done in acrylic. And then you paint over in oil. But you can see there's way more detail in the leaves on the tree and stuff like that. And you can literally see the bark on it and uh, the bluebells here and whatnot. And there's a lot more detail involved in, a, in this kind of a painting here. So what I did, you know, what we've been doing is showing different styles of painting so that people can get a better idea what they may want to paint. So, you, so you've seen that, you've seen my traditional ones. I mean, my uh, traditional already there and wet on wet. And let's see if I can pull up another wet on wet one. 
this is an old wet on wet that I did years ago. It's a bit dull, but you can see it okay. That's an old barn I did. And that's a wet on wet painting there too. Oh, thank you, Pamela. So that's the advantage of this program is I can pull up whatever I want to for people to see. And then I can just remove it from the stream at will and pull up multiple images. So let's see, one more thing. What else do we do here? We also do, um, knife painting and people like recon he was questioning about knife painting knife painting is totally different so we'll pull this one up for the night for the knife painting and you can see what a knife painting looks like and that's a knife painting and you can full screen that and that painting there was done with using just a knife and I'm not talking about a pocket knife. I'm talking about a painting knife. And you can look those up online. You can see there's many different um, types of painting knives. Some of them are rounded on the front. Some of them are pointed. Some are bigger or smaller. Some of them are, have a flat angle to them and stuff like that. And, of course, Bob Ross and Bill Alexander, Buck Paulson, they all use that same knife for wet on wet. But these particular knives that I use for a knife painting are really different. I don't use the, the one Bob Ross uses for a painting like this. But that one was done quite a long time ago, probably five or six years ago at least. And that's just done with a knife. But the, the downfall, they're, they're really pretty. They're really more of an impressionistic type of a painting. But there is some realism there. You can tell that it's a couple walking down a pathway, and, uh, and but it's it's still more of an impressionism painting, and it's actually a costly painting too because it takes a lot of paint. You use way more paint, probably three times as much paint on a knife painting than you would on a brush painting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Helps I unmute the mic again. Don't you say anything, Tracy. Don't say it. This is this is the avenue I wanted to go to for people so that I could get on live with people and really show them. Besides just doing the video, we can do it live so you can ask questions about how a painting was done. I can show you one, and uh, we can discuss it. Like, I know Brock is doing a wet on wet now from one of my tutorials. Hopefully, I can get it, I'm going to get her to send it to me and we can discuss it and let everybody see it, see how the progress is she's making. Thank you, Recon. Of course, Pamela don't know either, but I am going to be doing a video sometime soon. If you've watched on any of my videos of the wet on wet paintings, and even the ones that were just traditional, I'm actually going to be doing a video to sell, have an, like an online auction, selling them probably maybe a little bit over half price. Um, so I'll be doing a video on those. And that's just to support the channel. That's to buy paint and canvas and keep the channel going help with, you know, camera equipment and whatever I need to pay for and uh, to keep it going. Uh, it's not to make money. I won't make anything on them really, just a little bit, hopefully enough to buy more paint and stuff.
eventually I'll get if I get a laptop again I may I may bring it out to the studio and actually do a live painting also not just do not just have the chat but we can chat and but I'll do a painting while we're chatting so people can see it and they can ask questions while I'm painting and so that'll be a lot more information for people that want to paint and they can really see the whole process while we're talking and ask how I did that or, or how much paint to use or whatever whatever the questions are what the brushes are and stuff and you know get a lot more personal as far as more on hands learning of how to paint also if they have questions on recommendations about you know paint choices or brushes or you know their experience of what they've been trying to do themselves that they're having a problem with yeah you told me that recon and uh Yep, I appreciate it. Um, I know you're waiting to get settled into your new house and whatnot. And that's fine. If you find some you like, you can always let me know and I can probably set them aside for you when I do the video. Which might be better for you because if there's several you want that you want at one time, I can ship them at one time and save shipping. Which is always good. So, Pam, are you going to start painting, or are you thinking about it? Or do you just like to watch the painting? Some people just like to watch, and I don't blame them at all. I just like to watch Bob Ross or Bill Alexander or, or uh, people that I actually learn from, like Michael James Smith and uh, Leonard Abmoff and a few other ones. Okay, that's fine. That's great. Not a problem. Yeah, it is. It's, it is relaxing. It's very relaxing. A lot of people like to watch. Even me. And I've been painting for a long, long time. But I still like to watch somebody else paint. Because... I don't care who you are, you will learn something, usually. Because everybody paints differently. They have a different style of painting of their own. They develop your own style. And it's nice to see how other people get to the same end result that you do in a different way. And sometimes it's better. And it gives you the option to try it. Or maybe something you were trying to do and couldn't quite get right that they did so you learn i really am I'm a believer in, and i've done hundreds and hundreds of paintings you learn you usually learn something every time you paint it may be something small but you always learn something i should have i was going to um Text Brad tonight and try to get him to jump on again tonight, guys. But I forgot all about it. And just it was too late before I thought of it. He was supposed to text me a few days ago. And he never did. I meant to uh, yell at him earlier and uh, chat with him, but I just got busy. In fact, at one time I was going to do a family portrait for him, but he never got back to me on it. Of course, they're looking for, they're thinking about buying another house or having one built. That's probably why.
he's doing really well. He's been here three or four times, I think. He does come here. So if you come, if you come here regularly, you're, you're bound to run into him. So he does come on and chat here. I don't know where everybody went. I'm not sure who's even here right now. Tracy, you still here? Or did you fly the coop? Francis? Lisa? Oh, I don't know if he's got too much going on, Recon. I think he's just, he's been looking at houses. I know that, but where he's not working, he's got all day to do all that. Now, if he decides he wants to build one, he may have a lot more to do. He has to get with the architect and uh, sit down with them and start planning one out. Oh, I didn't see Lisa say that. Of course, I was pulling up pictures, and that's probably why. Ken's most likely still here, too. He usually is in the background there somewhere. All right, we'll see you tomorrow, Pamela. Have a good day, and thanks for stopping in. We appreciate all the help here. Uh, and i uh, love to see you come in, that's for sure. Jump back in again, and hopefully you'll, you'll run into Brad and say hello to him anyway. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't like rice at all, really. But some people love it, but I don't. Okay, Jennifer, I look forward to them. Bye, Pamela. Take care. Make some comments on the website. I, I mean, on YouTube, on my paintings, if you get time. I Comments help me a lot, whether you guys know it or not. Comments help a lot. The more comments I get, the better it is. Because YouTube actually looks at that. And I'm not getting many comments. <clears throat> oh, you're doing like uh, fried rice, brown rice or whatever, yellow rice. Some onions and some jalapenos. Peppers, tomato. Going all out for that for dinner, huh? Huh. Ken, you still here, buddy? I'm only showing three. That doesn't mean nothing with YouTube, though. Yep, he's still here. I figured you was. Well, we did pretty well tonight. We got quite a few people on tonight. Let's see. Um, Francis, Jennifer, 
Lisa, Pamela, Ken, Recon, me, Tracy. Well, we got eight people on, I guess. Been many nights, it was just me, Recon, and Ken, and Doc. Sometimes just me and Ken, or me and Recon. We get eight people on, that helps quite a bit. If we'd had if we'd run a two hour with eight people, that would have been uh, sixteen hours, which is definitely helps a lot. Of course, we're really up two hours. We were on two hours. Was it last night or the night before? We hit two, three hour, or two hours. The night mini came in late. Yeah, that's what it was. My grandson, uh, Dylan, was going to come on tonight, too, but he got school in the morning, I think. I think he'd be done with dinner by now. Uh, Recon's been cooking for an hour. Not time to eat. Oh, hum. I can't tell who's on. It's, I like. I really like this program a lot, but uh, if somebody's not talking, you can't tell whether they're here or not. They need a place where you can see a user list. And I don't know why they don't have one. Oh, Tracy's still here. Sandbagger you. So how is your mom doing, Tracy? Is she doing okay? <clears throat> she must be getting right up there. Huh. Excuse me. Good. Glad to hear it. No big health issues? She's healthy and fit. That's good. 72. Dang, that ain't much older than I am. Holy crap. <laughs> Go get him, Recon. Go get him.
I wish I had a dollar for every time I heard that one recon. I've been hearing people say that since I was Tracy's age. <laughs> Now we know who else is older than dirt, don't we, Tracy? So what'd you have besides the Mexican rice there, Recon? Hey, Tracy, you know, Jennifer's getting old, too. She's a grandmother now. Now you got somebody else you can pick on for a while. That's good, Jennifer. And yes, Tracy, you are older than dirt. You're getting there. 53? You were telling me I was older than dirt then, when I was 53. So it's your turn. My tone? Did I lie? Are you not a grandmother? We all know different. Without a doubt. Now that I know I can do this, there's Jennifer's grandson right there. Isn't he a cutie? There's your boy, Grandma. Ouch, how about that hurt? Somebody's screaming. There's Jennifer's little grandson, Ezra, right there. Thank God he takes after his mother. <laughs> Yes, Jennifer's a grandma.
I don't know why I had that on uh, in the YouTube directory. But I did. Yes, I'm a great grandfather twice. I have two I have two great grandkids. I have a great granddaughter and a great grandson. Tracy, let's rephrase that. That you know of. Just saying. That Tracy, you may have kids that you don't know of. Well, I'm glad the world was spared any great-grandchildren from you, Tracy. Thank you, God. You can only be one devil Eeyore. One was enough. What? Wow, Dad, what? What do I do now? Tracy has you plotting against me? But well, we could hope that she'd hit him in the head with the skillet. I mean, probably break the skillet. No. Tracy will tell you, we, we picked on each other the same amount 20 years ago, how long it was ago. <clears throat> I was beginning to think Tracy was going to be a Mormon and have 10 wives. <laughs> I think I knew two of them, right, Tracy? I knew two of your wives, I think. I knew Tracy before he was in Florida, when he was somewhere else. Texas, I think, I don't remember. I think it was Texas. Did I know all three, or did I only know two of them? I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember. I know I... Knew I I know I knew at least two of them. 
Maybe I knew all three. I don't remember. Do you? Yeah, I think just two. Don't worry, Tracy. The good part about getting old like you are is you'll eventually forget them, the memory of them. <laughs> just saying, okay? <laughs> Tracy's been broke for a long, long time. But you have, don't you have kids, Tracy? You got a couple of kids, don't you? I thought you had a son and a daughter or something. One, yeah. Oh, he must be getting up there in age now then. Is he down there where you live or does he live somewhere else? In Texas or wherever. That's what I thought it was in his early 20s. I thought that's what I thought. Oh, he's there? That's good. He's living with you, I guess, huh? Minnie! Finally made it! You miss everybody, Minnie. Pamela was here. Lisa was here. Oh, she might still be here. Um, my wife was here. You miss my wife? I don't think she's here now. She might be, but I don't think she is. Tracy Nolan there is a really old friend of mine. Um, he's been on for quite a while now. Ken's here somewhere. Oh, I said you were here. Oh, you did jump in for a few? You just didn't say anything, huh? Oh, you're getting sneaky. <laughs> yeah, he was married three times. The Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost couldn't even help him. <laughs> oh. I watched that uh, Shula King after many told me about him. He has a lot of shorts, that's for sure. Mm. 
Nah. You're fine, Recon. We all have a sense of humor. Congratulations, Minnie. 40 years. I got your beat, though. June will be... Uh-oh, I can't remember. 44 years. June 19th. All right, Tracy, have a good night. Thanks for coming by, buddy. I appreciate it. Hope I see you uh, a lot more. I can certainly use the help in the channel here. And I know I can depend on an old buddy. Oh, okay, so I'll, it's 45 years. I'm sorry. 45 years I've been married in June. But watch behind me, I might get hit. <laughs> Take care, Tracy. It's the people that Tracy meets that you have to tell to be safe. Recon, <laughs> not him. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I have to look, take a little uh, bathroom break.
Alrighty, I'm back. Yeah, I was married before you were born, Recon. Well, that makes me feel old. Wow. Huh. I probably shouldn't be drinking a Coke. It's going right through me. Everybody stop talking. No, I didn't see that story, Recon. That's pretty sad. That's the way it happens a lot. When one after, when one goes, the other one follows. Really soon, when my mother passed away, my father passed away within six months of her. And strangely, we'd have bet that my father would have died first, because he had quadruple bypasses and stints and. Balloons in his heart and uh, prostate cancer twice, all kinds of stuff. And my mother was pretty healthy, yet she passed before he did. I'll be honest with you, if, if my wife passed, I'd want to go to. When you're together for that many years, you can't even think about not being together anymore. I know my grandfather, when my grandmother died, I think he outlived her by close to 20 years. And he was always saying that he'll be glad when he, when he dies so he can be with her. He, was, he said that very often. But he was not really depressed, really nothing. He, was, he still did stuff every day worked in his workshop every day and uh, he seemed to be okay he didn't seem to be depressed at all okay Jennifer have a good night I'm glad the medication's working for you and making you feel better hopefully tomorrow will be even better for you have a good night Thanks for coming. Tell Velvet she missed a party tonight. We had a bunch of people tonight.
I was surprised to see Pamela pop in tonight. I knew she didn't paint or anything, but um, she just likes to watch the videos. Love you too. Have a good night. Recon hiding in the shadows. That's what you should name yourself. Recon hiding in the shadows. <laughs> Running after the little recons. Well, I'm glad everybody's gone. Hmm. Do you? I've known one or two other people that had the name Recon back when I was a lot younger and used to play Quake. I knew a couple guys named Recon that played different versions of the name. Did you ever play online games at all, Recon? When you were younger? Or older, even? I don't care how old you are. I know people that play online games nowadays that are my age. I knew guys that played Battleship and America's Army and um, all kinds of games. Secret, huh? <laughs> well, when you bring all five of them little um, androids and stuff you got online at the same time, we'll just, you can name one of them Secret, Secret 1, 2, and 3, 4. <laughs> I've been waiting for that to happen, but you didn't make it happen yet. We've kind of joked about it a little bit that we was waiting to see you do that. Like I was telling the guys, we're not doing horrible yet. I just checked today and I'm to I'm up to two thousand six hundred and eight viewing hours. I need four. I need uh, four thousand. So I need a little bit less than fourteen hundred still. <clears throat> I think we had about eight or nine people on tonight. But not the full length of time, but it all helps. It all helps. If we could get everybody that was on Brad's channel over here every night, I wouldn't have any worry at all. We'd be able to get it pretty quickly. That'd be cool. 
That would be cool. As long as your internet can handle it, that'll be it'll probably work fine. Because I've come on with my wife's name on the phone, and I'm on my computer in the office. Yeah, I can get on that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I could probably try it with an Android, but my wife is usually playing on her Android because she likes to read on it. Um, for some reason, her Android has a little bit of trouble staying online. And uh, that's why she left because it just kept getting offline. Yes, watching my videos to the end helps enormously. Way more than you can imagine. That adds the view time. Comments help a lot too. Even little comments. Comments help a lot. The thumbs up, the hearts, all that stuff. That all adds up together. It all helps a lot. Because they look for that. When I get the 4,000 hours, they do a review. So I gotta have comments and all that stuff too. It's it's kind of complicated. They they really expect to see quite a bit of activity. Because if people aren't watching the videos all the way through, what happens is they the analytics won't push my videos to the front at all. They stay way behind. So they're not being recommended. The more people that watch my videos all the way through, the better chance I have of getting subscribers and getting other people in here. Well, he didn't delete it. He thought he did. That's how he was able to come in here. You know, he just came in as Millionaire Vlog. Um, he just kind of uh, took it offline, so to speak. But he was able to pull it back up um, with his name. I don't think he's online. I don't think he's online as far as being uh, monetized anymore. I think he just came back online. I, I don't know. You could probably look. Look him up again, I guess, and see. But I'm pretty sure his videos are not there. He may have deleted his videos. That's possible. Excuse me. Yeah. I mean, there's times, even even when I watch a video myself, it does count up to a point. So sometimes I'll log my wife on the phone. I just turn it down, and I'll find one of the longer ones I have and watch all three or four sections or whatever. I don't really watch them. I just let them play and uh, try to at least get a little bit of time on it, you know, if it's an hour or two at a time here and there. Well, I did have some subscribers before, but that was from um, a gaming thing I used to belong to. I did have 14 or 15, I think. I'm not sure they even, I'm not sure if they, yeah, they did count to this too. You just couldn't see them. I guess they were kind of hidden, but I did have some before. Because when I used to do mapping, uh, which was art, I used to do maps for Quake 2. Um, a few of the mappers and people that were involved in Quake used to come by my channel and uh, once in a while and chat with me. Well, subscribers, a lot of the subscribers I got were friends of friends of friends of whatever. And there's, there's ways you can get subscribers, believe me. Um to get the number up so you can get to have the live chat. There's ways you can do it. You just kind of get some people to help you do it and they can do it. Can't get the views though. I mean, you can, but 
um, that's the most important part of getting real views. The view hours is the most important. And comments, hard to get those two good comments and thumbs up. They all It all matters. I'm not sure what the thumbs down do, um, whether they subtract it from the thumbs up or what. I need to look that up and find out. But the, the trolls that we've got here, a lot of them are doing the thumbs down. In fact, I had 100% thumbs up until we did live streams and the trolls came in. Now I've got like, I think about 20 thumbs down altogether or something like that. And they don't help you at all. Not really. But I don't think they're really that bad against you. Um, not that I've ever heard of. Because people are bound to get thumbs down. Just because they don't like the video. You know, simple as that. And I've seen, I've seen other places that had a video up. And they might have three or four hundred views on it, five hundred views, and fifty or sixty thumbs down, which kind of surprised me because I watched the video and it wasn't bad. It was a, it was a decent video, just people being buttheads or whatever, or if it was a live stream and they just saved it as a regular video, could have been the same thing. Could have been trolls that came in. And being buttheads, I really wish YouTube would address the troll issue, um, so there was some way to deal with that issue better. But getting subscribers is an important thing. You got to do whatever you guys can do to get some subscribers because people won't watch your videos if you have no subscribers. They just won't do it. And think about yourself. If you're looking for a video and there's only 20 or 30 subscribers, you're less likely to watch it than if the next video below you in the same subject has 2,000 or 1,000 subscribers. That's just the way human nature is. And I'm not saying everybody is like that because I've watched videos that only had 10 or 20 subscribers. Um, and they were fine. They were great. But that's just the way people are. Okay, Recon, have a good night. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I'm probably going to shut down anyway. It's been uh, almost two hours now. So, um Ken, I'm glad you're still here. I appreciate you sticking around. But uh, I think we'll just shut off, too, and head for bed myself, too. So thank you all for showing up tonight again, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Have a good night. Take care, everyone. Yeah, you too, buddy. Take care, Recon. And Ken, I really appreciate all you guys that show up most every night, especially. Because you guys mostly show up a lot. So it's definitely appreciated. I wish Doc had shown up tonight. That would have given us, I think, 10. That would have been nice to have had him here, too. All right, I'm going to shut it down now. Have a good one, guys.